Hello, we are Geeks Live Luxembourg. We are sitting here with the organizers of the Game of Code event, the Hackathon. Um, can you present it yourself? Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Kamel Amun. I'm um, the organizer of uh, this Hackathon. Uh, I work for Favis Group and uh, I created ICT Spring uh, and uh, IT1, the IT1 community here in Luxembourg. Hi everyone, I'm Francis Bourg and I'm from Doclair Holding. I'm a software architect and I created uh, the game contest named Tree of Life. How did it come together that you organized this event? Um, you know that in Luxembourg, so on, I think in Europe, uh, it's difficult to, to, to recruit a lot of developers uh, and hackers, uh, specialists, uh, UX designers, etc. So the idea is to bring together uh, a lot of uh, coders uh, to attract some of them from outside of Luxembourg and to, to share with them and say that perhaps they could work here in Luxembourg. So the idea uh, to recruit them, uh, the idea is to, to, to create this hackathon uh, and perhaps to, to, to have those coders here in Luxembourg. How will the hackathon uh, go about? What is planned for today? Uh, so, um, in the afternoon we will have a few speeches. We have a speech from of, uh, Francis Bourg, a speech from Microsoft, another from Aldebaran Robotics, uh, and, and another from um, Microsoft. Um, and, the, and after, we, the coders begin at 7.30 to code until tomorrow, uh, Saturday. And they have 24 hours to code uh, in two challenges. One uh, around uh, mobility, it's an open data challenge. And one, it's uh, true of life, it's about intelli artificial intelligence. Uh, so Francis can explain you more of this, this challenge because he created these challenges. Uh, about the true of life challenge, what is that exactly and how will that work? So Doclair want me to, to make a partnership with uh, IT1 for this event. This is the first hackathon where we participated. And uh, we try to find a good topic. And uh, you know about hackathons, uh, normally uh, now more and more uh, companies uh, join uh, hackathons and try to make uh, commercial products. So it was a very big temptation with uh, Doclair to, to ask the same. But we, we didn't want to go this way. And we choose to make something more generic. Uh, and the, the most crazy topic we could find it was about uh, artificial intelligence. Um, because uh, I think in every developer, uh, this kind of burning fire, you know, when you start developing, to, um, to imagine um, existence of light beyond the screen. So this is the topic. It's about creativity. It's about uh, art generation, about uh, procedural storytelling. You can imagine uh, whatever. Okay. Um, and uh, for after the co uh, competition, uh, what are the prizes for the winners? Okay, for the two challenges, there is uh, money for the open data challenges. Uh, so it's 4,000, 2,500, and 1,500. And the, in the challenge of um, um, True of Life, uh, we have um, Luxair, <laughs> Luxair to uh, one, um, I would say, um, a flight um, in in a, in a country on the hotel voucher uh, with Elvoline. Uh, it's like Booking.com, uh, and uh, we have passes for ICT Spring VIP passes for for this great event, and uh, it's for it will be free for for them. We have one tech ball, this tech ball, so we will we will can we can see uh, what is a tech ball. Uh, so we have we have this sort of prices. Okay, um, how many participants did we register for this uh, event? We have 130 uh, coders uh, registered, but I think that we'll have perhaps more will come uh, without registration. So if perhaps tomorrow of uh, or, t or today people can come and, and, and begin to code. So it's uh, it's in the spirit of hackathon. Everybody can come and say, okay, I have a team or I want to come So without registration. Uh, so they come in the desk and after they can, so perhaps 150 or perhaps 135, I don't know. Um, how far do you think uh, are we still away to have 
something that you would call AI and how far do you and um, how would you f define it? So it's a, an interesting question. I say it's an interesting question because uh, this will be the topic of my talk. I got a, a talk of uh, 15 minutes about uh, the rise of uh, AI. And um, I can just uh, make a uh, few words about it already. Um, some people, like uh, Ray Kurzweil, is a futurist, uh, think uh, we are like um, um, 20 years from the rise of uh, artificial intelligence, what we call the singularity, the explosion of intelligence. So um, it could arrive uh, really, really soon. I will go in much details uh, later. I just want to add a few words because, uh, as well, uh, about the event, I invited uh, two friends. One is uh, Nicolas Canas, is um, the creator of the Hacks language. It's uh, an open source language uh, that can target uh, many platforms like uh, Java, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, and, and it will be there to showcase the language. And, and I think it's crazy, uh, crazy um, good guest. And uh, the other one is uh, Joan da Silva, is um, lead uh, design director of uh, Aldebaran Robotics. So we'll come for a talk and we'll come with a team and they bring robots. So I think it will be a crazy experience. And another form, if you uh, another question, if you really uh, tap into singularity, uh, question that comes there: How would you really know that you would say it is the singularity? It's uh, you stepped over. How would you recognize that it's really something that is learning by itself or just a normal program? So, you know, the principle of singularity is you don't know when you reach singularity. This is a total paradox. And um, singularity is kind of hypothetical event. Uh, some people think it will arrive, some people think it's not possible. But uh, what we should know before it arrives, because normally we shouldn't know when it will uh, come, we should know uh, when, it will, when machines will be capable of uh, self-improvement. Machines will be capable of uh, autonomous building and they won't need uh, any more humans to um, execute and uh, execute for themselves. Okay. If you are a developer in Luxembourg, uh, who you could contact to get a job in the industry? As I said, team at IT1. So we are an IT community and we have a lot of suppliers uh, in IT. Or we can send an email directly to, to Dockler Holding because they recruit a lot of developers. So yeah, we would be really glad to, to hire everyone. So a lot of talented developers. I just joined uh, one year ago. I uh, came from Sweden, and um, I uh, don't believe. Uh, I still don't believe uh, what's happening here. I mean, uh, I do some crazy open source, and I work every day with talented guys. So let's let's come to us, guys. Okay. Thank you for your time.